Hello, I'm Dr. Kamiar Kalantar Zadeh, Professor of Medicine and Chief of the Division of Nephrology and Hypertension at the University of California, Irvine School of Medicine in Orange County and Southern California. During March of each year, the World Kidney Day is celebrated throughout the world. To be more precise, the World Kidney Day is observed annually on the second Thursday in March. The World Kidney Day, or WKD, is a global health awareness campaign focusing on the importance of kidneys and reducing the frequency and impact of kidney disease and its associated health problems worldwide. It provides an important opportunity to increase education and awareness about the kidney disease and to acknowledge and advocate access to prevention and treatment of kidney disease for people in this country and worldwide. The World Kidney Day is a joint initiative of the International Society of Nephrology, or ISN, and the International Federation of Kidney Foundations, or IFKF. Although some kidney diseases are treatable and may have a cure, some others, such as chronic kidney disease, or CKD, have often no cure and may worsen over time. Hence, a CKD patient may eventually need what is called kidney replacement therapy that includes dialysis treatment or kidney transplantation. In the United States of America, estimates suggest that there are some 20 million people with CKD or chronic kidney disease. At the University of California, Irvine, we have special programs dedicated to CKD patients in particular in form of conservative and nutritional management of CKD to avoid or defer dialysis therapy if possible. I would like to emphasize the 2016 and 2017 themes of the World Kidney Day, namely kidney disease in children for 2016 and obesity as a risk factor of kidney disease in 2017. In 2016, the focus of the World Kidney Day is kidney disease in childhood. And by implication, kidney disease in adulthood that has its roots in childhood. For those children who require kidney replacement therapy, such as dialysis for acute or chronic kidney diseases, an additional major obstacle is the challenge of access to hemodialysis or peritoneal dialysis. This is even more difficult than it is for adults with CKD. In developed countries, dialysis therapy keeps over 2 million people alive worldwide. But optimal equipment and resources for children with CKD may not be available for some of these children with need. Obesity is an important risk factor for metabolic syndrome, diabetes, heart disease, and also kidney disease. In particular, having excessive fat inside the belly, which is known as intra-abdominal fat or large belly, is an important risk factor for CKD. Since diabetes and high blood pressure are two main risk factors for chronic kidney disease, and since both diabetes and hypertension can be prevented or even cured by losing weight in form of losing intra-abdominal fat, Obesity is an important target for our worldwide campaign to prevent or mitigate the pandemic of chronic kidney disease. In March of each year, we celebrate World Kidney Day. Around the world, doctors, nurses, dietitians, and other healthcare professionals, as well as patients and general public, have an opportunity to highlight the importance of preventing and treating kidney disease and to screen for early signs of kidney disease. Please help us spread the message by celebrating the World Kidney Day and by being kidney aware wherever you are. You can obtain more information on kidney disease or on World Kidney Day by contacting us or visiting the websites. The website of the Division of Nephrology and Hypertension at the University of California is www.medicine.uci.edu forward slash nephrology or the homepage of the World Kidney Day at worldkidneyday.org. 
Have a nice day and stay healthy.